ETC MC nodes have been the talk of the town for the past couple weeks. It might've been a little bit behind closed doors, but I'm going to give you guys a full walkthrough on how to do this as of now. Now, the two downsides that I can't stand about this, you need a license, 250 bucks to run the node to start, which kind of sucks. And two, you have to use MetaMask. But the thing here is the yield on it is about 10 to $20 per day. So you have roughly a maximum like ROI on the license itself. I would say just to be safe about 30 days, right? So 30 days to get your money back for that license. Then everything's cake after that. I mean, to me, totally worth it. I'm not affiliated with these guys at all. I've had to pay for my licenses flat out. I don't have any affiliation, okay? I just wanted to make sure that was clear. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your MetaMask to the ETC chain. I'm gonna teach you guys how to swap ETC for ETC POW so you can purchase this license. And then I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what to do when you guys get this email and all that. Now, let's get into it. We'll just get into setting up the MetaMask and then we'll go from there. Okay, first things first, you need to make sure you add Ethereum Classic to your MetaMask wallet. Now we need to add the main chain. So we're gonna do add network manually. You're gonna type in all of this stuff right here, as you can see on screen. Now I will leave this all in a Google Doc for you in the description below. So you guys can just copy and paste everything as in like the network name, Ethereum Classic, the new RPC URL. I'll leave that down there, 61 for the chain ID, ETC for the currency symbol. And then I'll also leave the block Explorer URL, which is optional, but you can see the network has been added successfully. So that's a huge plus. Now, once you get onto the Ethereum Classic, main chain here you need to add a token or import a token rather which would be etc pow so you're going to put this contract address in this bar right here and then everything should fill in for you again i'll leave that in that google doc quick suggestion once you guys get all of this added the new coin and on the etc chain just exit out of metamask and log back in to make sure that everything's stuck because personally for me it didn't stick the first time and it was kind of concerning but it's stuck ever since, so I don't know what happened there, but I had to do it twice. All right, so obviously next step would be to send some ETC over to your wallet. As you guys can see, I have some leftover ETC POW that's still in my wallet from doing the first license that I purchased. Now, you can see I have 13.5 ETC. That's roughly how much I'm gonna need to swap into ETC POW. It's actually $250 flat to purchase this license. So. Just get that into your wallet. If you guys need to copy your address, it's right here. Just hit this button. That is your ETC address, okay, for this wallet. So just send some ETC over and then we'll get to the next step. Now, you're gonna come to this site called EBSwap, okay? You're gonna have to link your MetaMask account. I'll show you a quick video right here of how to do so. As you can see, it's super simple. You literally just click connect account. It'll say initializing, connect with MetaMask. Then you hit next. And then it just says connecting and that's it. And then your balance will pop up right here and you guys are good to go. All right. So as you can see now it's registering my 13.5 ETC over here and I can just click max. You're going to select token and we'll click ETC POW. Now I'm only going to get 107.919 ETC POW for ETC. Okay. Or the 13.5 ETC. Now, if we go over here real quick, just want to show you guys. So this is the ETC MC digital download lifetime license. Now this links directly to your MetaMask account from what I understand. And it ends up costing you, you know, 250 bucks more or less in ETC POW. So real quick, just so you guys can see the requirements, we have four cores, four thread CPU, minimum 256 gigabyte SSD, minimum memory, eight gigabyte, optimal 16 gigabyte ram okay so you can get away with eight it would say it optimizes itself at 16. so whatever you guys choose to do you can get away with eight gigabytes now it's going to click on purchase once you click on purchase it'll bring you to the store where you can purchase with etc pow okay you can see the price says 104.18 etc pow which equates to roughly 250 bucks 249 us dollars so we'll go back over to hebe swap i'm going to choose swap right here for the 107.919 ETC POW. Once I swap that, I'll click confirm swap. MetaMask right here will pop up. It'll ask me to confirm. I will click confirm. Then it says transaction submitted. I can close this. And shortly we'll be able to see the ETC POW. You can see it says pending, confirmed. I got a little notification on the bottom right. You guys can't see that on my screen, but you can see it says Everything is good to go. So now we'll go back to Ethereum Classic. Let's go to tokens. And you can see I have 110 
balance of ETC POW here. That's it. It was super simple to do, right? So now let's go over to the ETC POW website again. We're just going to choose purchase, okay? Once you choose purchase, your MetaMask should pop up just like this, which is super simple to do. Now you're just going to click confirm on this. It tells you exactly how much it's going to cost. 104.184 ETC POW. I'm going to click confirm. Okay, now it's just processing transaction. Nothing crazy. Success. Your transaction was successful. Okay, so I'll hit okay. Now you click download software. Now I recommend you guys do this right away. Okay, just choose download software. It'll bring you to a new page. You gotta fill out your name. So I'm just gonna put chump change XD. Then we're gonna put my email contact at chump change XD.com. Okay, make sure it's correct. And I didn't fat finger that. I'm gonna hit continue. And then you should get the email pretty soon after you actually get it. Now, this download file right here, choose download like immediately. Okay, even if you're putting this on a different PC download the file put it into a folder drag it onto a usb and then bring it to the computer you're going to put it in that's probably the best way to do it but you want to use the file download that you receive at that moment for the node that you're starting up if that makes sense okay in the the actual uh, license is attached to your metamask account and the email is just a confirmation stating that you have said license right so i recommend printing that out and obviously just keep the order number and all that stuff now Gonna click download here it's gonna go right to my downloads folder as you guys can see and then uh yeah i will end up moving this onto my desktop into a folder and then getting it on my next node so let's go check out the email and see if that came through yet all right so the email did come through i'm blurring out the order number id because i don't know how important that is and some other things here but regardless it says you can download your digital products from and then it gives you the uh actual link to that download again. So if you want, you can just open this email up directly on that other PC as well, instead of swapping it to a USB and then to that PC, you just open it up there and it'll bring you directly to that download. So just make sure you guys use the specific download for the specific license. That way you're good to go and there's no hiccups. Okay, so here we are inside my actual node. This is the first one I had up and running, right? Now I'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown on how this works and I think think I can show all this stuff if I can't. Oh, well, is what it is. All right. So this is the most important part here, right? Before you start the node, I recommend you guys come over here once you're inside of it and click register node. Okay. The username, you could do whatever you want. Like for example, I'm going to put chump change XD one chump change XD two in a sequence just like that. So I remember it, but I recommend highly that you write this down. Make sure you guys use the same exact email that you put in for that initial uh, email they sent you with the order number. Make sure that email is exactly the same here and make sure your ETC wallet address is the one from MetaMask. I can't stress that enough. If it's not the one from MetaMask, how the hell are they gonna pay you your ETC POW? So just make sure that those are the same, write them down, take a picture, save them, call it a day. Then you can hit earn ETC POW to start up the node. ETC POW balance. It says 67.663 ETC POW. Now looking at the price of POW, it's almost $2.50 a pop, right? You can only claim your ETC POW once this balance gets over a hundred. So once it gets over a hundred, realistically, you're close to $250. So you're getting your payback pretty quick. Actually. Now I started this up, I believe I think it was Wednesday, maybe, maybe it was Tuesday. I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. It was like less than a week ago. I know it was less than a week ago, but less than a week for 67 ETC POW. Again, times that by two. I'm looking at about 130, 140 bucks almost for just literally running this on 10 to 12 Watts. It's absurd how much money this thing's made. Now, I mean, granted, I'll be able to cash it out and swap it back and you just use that Hebe swap same thing, right? I'll show you guys real quick. If you guys are trying to swap back, you literally just change this arrow ETC power up here, you know, max, and you can swap it into your ETC. I only got six ETC power in there, but you get the gist looking at this, right? So I want to kind of give you guys the rundown on what to do here. Now, if you're going to start up a new PC, which obviously I recommend an isolated PC for something along these lines. So these nodes are extremely finicky and nothing in the background can really be going on with windows 
or this thing will crash. So you need to go update your PC. If this is a brand new install, just go to Windows Update and get it updated. And then once you're done updating, make sure you guys go download this. Let me show you a blocker site real quick. And I'll leave the link in the description below for this as well. Looking right here, it is stop updates 10, right? It's just basically kills Windows 10 updates, okay? So just download this and then obviously run this file on your computer, which I did on this node currently. So now after you got the Windows update initially done, then obviously you're gonna see it says you're not up to date, but it doesn't matter, you ran that blocker, so you're good to go there. Now Windows security, you wanna go and kill all of the antivirus stuff, just get it all out of there so it's not in your system. Then the next biggest thing is to go to your sleep settings. Let's see, power and sleep. Now you want to make sure, I mean, the screen really doesn't matter, but I just put never on both in case you want to have a screen plugged into it. Just make sure this unit never goes to sleep because that's going to be a huge downfall on this node and it will continuously just stop your node. And then realistically, that's it. You just more or less, like I said, you're going to start up the program. You're going to download it onto the PC with that file they give you. Then you're going to hit get geth client or whatever it's going to open up to this node section then you're going to again click earn etc pow to start your node don't click launch full node and don't click anything else just click this yellow tab right here that says earn etc pow and you should be good to go just make sure that you guys keep in mind this thing's going to take 24 to 48 hours or so to actually sync the entire blockchain because you start out like years behind when you actually initially start this node and it's going to be looking for peers a lot and it's barely going to connect with people but once it starts connecting it will start filling in the blockchain and then it's going to disconnect again and you're going to see it like it's not working so just leave it alone just leave it plugged in and it will start earning eventually i know it's very like uh you know you want to stop the node and restart it hopefully it like jump starts it again but that's not the case just leave it alone that's really your best bet here so Hopefully that helps. So now the only real downside for me again is purchasing the license and the way that it just links to your MetaMask account. There's really no information that you input into the node to tie it to said license. So that's a little hairy and I heard they're going to be maybe doing some things with NFTs and linking it to your node somehow. I, I'm not entirely sure. So don't quote me on that. Go check out their discord if you guys are interested in any of the information. I'm sure Twitter has some stuff too, but yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. Um, just keep in mind that this thing obviously needs to just run. Make sure it's plugged in. Don't stop the node. Don't, you know, don't mess around with it. Don't unplug it while it's going. If you need to get it like moved to a different location, hit the stop node button so you guys aren't screwing anything up. But yeah, man, I mean, other than that, what else makes 10 to 20 bucks a day on extremely low wattage? Like I bought these little tiny PCs, okay? These things I got on Black Friday for a steal. They were 85 bucks a piece. They're going for $279 now, but they're four cores, 256 gigabytes of uh, SSD storage and eight gigabytes of RAM. And these things are perfect to run these nodes. So if you want to take the gamble, then feel free. If you don't, no big deal. Again, I'm not affiliated in any way. I just hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please go down there, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.